The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to do nasotracheal suctioning at home. You're going to need an empty water bottle taped down to the counter to make it secure like an airway. You're gonna need your suction catheter kit from your nurse pack and something to serve as your lubricant. What I've done here is just taken a syringe out of a Foley kit and a pack from an NG tube kit, but you can use lotion or anything else you can find at home. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take and open your sterile suction kit. And to help keep the lid weighed down, you can go ahead and put your lubricant on there. Then carefully remove your sterile gloves. And put them on. There's a drape, if you want to use it, you'll lay it out plastic side down on your patient's chest. Your sterile water to clean the suction, catheter in between passes and take the lid off. You're going to have to peel off the inner seal and then put your lid just gently sit it right back on reach in grab your suction catheter coil it up position it like this you're going to grab your suction catheter connector to the wall suction gently separate it out maintaining total control on the catheter at all times test your suction some of your lubricant and then very carefully put the catheter in the nair without touching the tip making sure to keep your right hand or left hand thumb hyper extended until you meet resistance or the patient begins to cough apply suction if it's goopy then you're gonna to wanna to reach down and take the lid off your sterile water. Clean it. Go back, get more lubricant. Keep the catheter taut. Thumb hyper extended on your other arm. Gently pass the catheter without touching anything with your sterile hand until you meet resistance or the patient begins to cough. Apply intermittent suction, pulling the catheter out and letting it slide between your fingers so it's nice and controlled the entire time. And after you finish, you can roll it up and discard it in your gloves. You can go down for a total of three passes prior to re-oxygenating your patient. 